Hello everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot Limode and today on Hot Limode we are coming to you with a very hotly requested video. This is a video that you guys have been asking for for a while and I don't really have an excuse except for the fact that like I'm just lazy. But we are going to be reacting to Adult Akech's Seven Days, Seven Looks, Seven Looks, Seven Days. I don't think I'm ever gonna learn it and I think that's just fine by me. But before we get any further into the video, I wanna say a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is Scentbird. Scentbird is a monthly subscription service that gives you the opportunity to sample from over 600 brands in the fragrance, cosmetic, and skincare categories. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance, which can be for men, women, and those not on the gender binary, to try every single month for just $15. Each month you'll get a 30 day supply, which is 120 to 140 sprays. That's way more than what you will receive in a trial vial that you get at the store. They have tons of colognes and perfumes to choose from, like Burberry, Gucci, Tom Ford, Prada, and a whole host of others. Honestly, my favorite activity is going through the website and seeing all the different fragrances. And they partner up with the majority of brands, which means all of the colognes and perfumes are 100% authentic. You can even upgrade to receive two or three products a month. Plus, they have products from other categories like skincare, cosmetics, and wellness, whether it be CBD, nutrition, or anything else. They even have candles. I mean, they have candles. I love a subscription candle. And they have a couple of brands exclusively for men too. For example, Anthony Brands, Zur, and Ernest Supplies. They launched their own bamboo charcoal line. It's unisex and has such products as cleansing stick and mask as well. So if you're tired of getting colognes and perfumes, you can try other products they carry for the same $15 a month. Now, this month I personally received Miu Miu's Le Bleu, which I picked out because I'm interested in the luxury fashion fragrance market and think it's interesting to have an archive of scents. Honestly, put archive in front of anything and I, I want it. And then I also chose Narcisco Rodriguez's For Her Eau de Parfum, which is a classic in my life and one of my favorite fragrances ever. And then Issey Miyake's Le de Issey, which got me through a very long hotel stay recently and proved that the sizes of these scent birds vials are not only chic but handy for travel too. Honestly, I mean, she's a cutie. So make sure to use my coupon code HOTLAMODE for 30% off. And it's just $10 for your first month. So click the link in that description box below. And with that, thank you Scentbird, let's get on with the video. Now if you guys do not know Adut Akech, she is honestly, I'm gonna put it out there, getting into that realm of like supermodel, but not based on the fact that like her parents are either like a, you know, hedge fund man and a beautiful model or celebrities or I don't know, you know, celebrity adjacent. Adut is honestly like legend. She comes from a very humble background. She has made it in the industry through her own merits as a model. I would say that she is one of the girls. And by the girls, I mean she is a girl that has really made it through her own merits, through her own work, through her own performances as a model. So I'm actually super happy to see Adut on this experience, on this moment, in this motion of the ocean. We see her on the runway oh so often. I mean, Valentino, YSL, Chanel. She's walked for just about everybody. I feel like there probably is not a brand that she hasn't walked for at this point. But I'm excited to see her sort of everyday wardrobe. And again, I think in that same vein as Kaya Gerber, who we reacted to last time, seeing a model wear clothing on their own and in their move and groove and in their own sort of vibe day to day is going to be very, very interesting. Doing a quick little scent bird spritz never hurts anybody. Oh, this is a Burberry Brit, which is actually like very nice. I love a fragrance. I have to say it's become like a new obsession. My ADD is constantly out of control and I need to find things to like focus on that are irrelevant to my life and that I will eventually become bored of. Currently fragrance, but at the same time, I've collected so many at this point that like, it's not going anywhere. She's gonna stick around for a while and Scentbird is helping to fuel that tremendous fire in my life. Let's get this party started. It's me, I did a catch and Wait, sorry. Before she even introduces herself, the rainbow Crocs, I'm dead. I need to know about the Crocs. I do. I really do. It's me, I did a catch and... I did. I did a catch. I might have been saying a dude. I did. Now we know. Today I'm going to show you guys what I wear in a week, so stay Oh tuned. my god, Let's she looks so it. cute, pretty, gorgeous, and stunning. Okay, wait. 
So from the pictures, like, honestly, I think it's in that same sort of like Kaya Gerber vein of she's not going to be wearing some like, I don't know, archival blah, blah, blah piece from, you know, uh, some 10 year, you know, like Phoebe Philo at Chloe. Like, that's not what we're going to get. But I think it's going to be things that are semi exciting, things that are reminiscent of brands that she works with and things that are comfortable yet still like a little bit fashion forwardy. <laughs> Okay, Monday. Okay, sorry. I kind of like this already. So, this is my travel outfit. I feel like she plays with color well. And I mean, like, I think about her a lot in terms of Valentino. I do. Like, when I think about Valentino, I'm like, oh, a dude. Something about, like, the use of these, like, aubergine pants, which I'm very grateful. A dude is giving me the ability to say aubergine very seriously with the sort of like light yellow top and the white button down and the bag and the shoes. It feels just sort of like playing on color and like mixing and matching color in a way that's not like super in your face and over the top, but at the same time, very like sophisticated. I am wearing these leggings by Rosetta Getty. My tank oh, okay. is rag and bone. My jacket is Helmet Lang. Okay, so first up, Rosetta Getty. Honestly, don't really know a lot about it, but again, it sort of is in that world of like Galvin and Staud and ALC. Like it's in that sort of contemporary fashion brand that I can't really tell you why they're a fashion brand, but like they are. And then my carry-on bag is Isabel Morant. Okay, she's an Isabel Morant girl. Just dope. Just cool bag and then my special traveling blanket okay so tell me about the blanket because she's beautiful i'm kind of into her. oh and this is for your ear pods oh <gasps> so okay so this is like the new version of old lady chic you know when like older people i guess i shouldn't gender old people chic you know when you have the glasses and have the rope on them and they hang over and all that sort of stuff so that that's never what this is them. giving me it's by tapper and my okay. sneakers are a collaboration by an artist called Melody Asani with Jordans. The message okay. on it says, if you knew what you had was rare, you would never waste it. So don't waste time. Okay, and she's giving very good life advice. This I would wear if I am about to get off a plane and go straight to set. I used to travel with five, six bags in the start. Now, if I could fit everything in my little carry-on and one of these, I'm good. I pack wow. like one or two sneakers, one or two heels, and then just take clothes that I can wear both day and night. Leggings like this are perfect for comfort and that fashionable. Yeah, I think the split hem aspect of them are very, very chic. I feel like they give more of a semi-flared style, but at the same time, the fact that they're also still a legging is like comfortable and easy. And they blend that sort of being able to look professional, but also still like chic and also still comfortable. I'm just obsessed with like that really sophisticated and subtle color blocking going on here. We'll look at the same time with the slit at the front, which is really cool. Looks dope with sneakers and heels. And then that's just that touch of fashion and, and yeah. First outfit, I'm not that mad. I wouldn't wear the sneakers, but like for the most part, again, like I'm just very obsessed with this color blocking moment, like I was really not expecting it. Okay, day two. She's giving Aritzia. She's giving Madewell. She is giving you Brandy Melville vibes. So this look right here is my on the go, on duty look. Just a very inexpensive outfit, top and pants from Zara. Then Okay, so models wear Zara. That's interesting. I feel like Honestly, we might have heard about like a Zara or an H&M or a brands that are far. Oh, Kaya Gerber talked about like Brandy Melville, I think. It's interesting to hear models sort of talking about being and wearing fast fashion retailers. But from my understanding, allegedly, there are a lot of fashion stylists and photographers and models that actually do work with Zara. And so if you're ever in a Zara, I haven't been in a Zara in quite some time and I'm not trying to be like, I don't go into Zara, blah, blah, blah. I like, I don't go into Zara. But I do know that when I see the advertisings inside the stores or on billboards or in magazines or whatever, they've gotten to the point where Zara knows they should shoot their ad campaigns to look similar to luxury fashion brand ad campaigns. So that's why you'll see certain models from 
the runways also appear in Zara ad campaigns. So I think it's very interesting. And so at first I was like, that's weird, that's strange. But in reality, maybe it does make a lot of sense. And maybe some of the models do get, maybe not sponsored, but sent clothing. And I've got my diamonds on. Yeah, still keep it a little. My Isabel Marant glasses. Okay, so she's and an Isabel Marant girl. I will pair it with my Copani. Okay, love a Caperni bag. I don't think Caperni is old, but it could possibly be an older brand. But the shape of these bags, which are these like sort of eggy bags with a big sort of strap, but it's cool structured. Shaped bag. It's two My French shoe. men. I met them very briefly. I felt really awkward because I didn't know what to say to them. So I talked to them about the rain once at a fashion week. Thing. They were very nice and they make those beautiful like Caperni bags. So I must say I'm like I'm into a Caperni moment. I enjoy. I think it has this very like futuristic retro 1960s space agey sort of feel to it. My shoes are from a store here in LA called Sorella Boutique. Okay, so I have to say about these shoes. I've seen these like heels that are also like thonged. I'm interested. I didn't realize people actually bought them and wore them, but I guess maybe if you're from like a warmer climate, I think Adit is from Australia. The thong flip-flop dies hard. These are my favorite jean one because it's very, very hard to actually find the perfect jean for short and tall girls, right? So my problem is if it fits on the top, they're way too short. If they're long, uh -huh. then they're way too big. They're not super tight on the waist, but they just like a perfect High waisted fit. My first ever international fashion show was for Saint Laurent. I was. I just want to say she does like a little bit of a flair, which I'm interested in. And I think also if you're like I don't know what six foot five ten five eleven model, a flair most likely usually works for you. Nervous. I was excited. I was also in a lot of pain because my foot was swollen from traveling 24 hours from Australia to Paris. But look. We put on some big men's suit shoes and we powered through that runway. Bam. <laughs> but it looked good. If you search up the picture, you see the gold dress with those oh my God. pointy suit shoes. <laughs> I remember just being on like- They should have put her in a heel, but that was a different like, video. Not even cloud nine. I was in my own little world. I was just waiting for the day to meet Naomi. <laughs> Naomi oh. Campbell. Oh, just I do know that. Hand. Ada and Naomi are, are girls. Incredible. She came Aww. and congratulated me after closing St. Laurent. And then I moved to New York and she just took care of me when I was there. Aww. She was like my second mother. Cuties. I think that accessories can elevate any outfit, like take it to the next level. I love small bags. It's like super small. I don't like- We love a little Valentino V logo, v a Versace bag, bag too in there. It either has to be super big or super small. But for this look, I'm just gonna stick to this one. I'm not mad. It is like very simple, very easy, but that's kind of what I'm expecting from the model. Gals, I love the bag and I like the jeans. I'm shocked that I'm saying I like Zara jeans, but I do, I like, I like the jeans, they're cute. They're cute. All right, Wednesday, hump day. Okay, so this is giving me like when models have to go work out. I feel like that's a thing that models do. They're like agents are like, all right, girls, we're going to such and such gym. We're going to work out. And like, that's a thing that happens, I think. Maybe it doesn't so, happen once you're established. This right here is my summer look. Okay, this summer vibes. from Jacquemus. Honestly. I just bought a Jacquemus suit and like, I get why the girls like it. Maybe it was a little bit rash in my decisions. Sometimes I wasn't, but at certain points I was. She's fine. The bralette, the shorts, and a the little super knit moment. cropped blazer. Oh, I, I love, love the blazer. Look. The blazer is cute. I'm actually pretty positive that is a cropped version of a blazer that I literally bought because I can tell from the buttons that it's very similar. And that blazer I'm sure is made out of hemp, which is a very great natural fabric. It's really hard to make things out of hemp because it's very labor intensive to get hemp turned into fabric. A very interesting textile with a very dubious history, I think I'll say. But I like a Jacquemus moment. I think it's interesting. I think it works. I think it's cute. And then I just paired it with boots. my Prada boots mm -hmm. because... You can tell those Prada boots are Prada because they have the big chunky heel or like sole with the rivets. They're very I'm not wearing chunky that. military I'm not vibes. Then I would pair it with my off-white glasses. Mm -hmm. In summer, we just, you know, obviously shorts because it's hot. A little skin. We like a little skin, right? Don't I have a question about this. I think because 
I don't know anybody that like lives in Australia. No, I don't. I don't think I do. And if I do know somebody, I apologize. But I'm interested in how they dress. You know what I mean? Like, is this something that, you know, you'd wear a blazer in Australia? Like, is it arid? Is it humid? Like, is this an outfit that makes sense for the summer in Australia? Really with a matching set for it. Oh, and the Prada bag, I see. Some are a lot more dressy, some are a lot easier. Okay, love a multi-look moment going on here. Okay, Vogue with the editing, layering. Some are more casual, day, night. I got a piece for every occasion. Just throw on a shoe, a bag, and we're good to go. I would describe my personal style as easy going, comfortable, but you know, I can still be sexy sometimes when I need to okay. be, when I'm feeling it, I could be real sexy. Something I didn't know before moving to LA. Oh, is so she lives in LA. It's extremely cold when the sun sets. You know what? She's not wrong about that whatsoever. I went to LA like a month and a half ago. I was like, oh, I only need shorts. And then I got there and I was like, wait, it's cold as tits out. But I will say that in reality, LA is a great temperature because you can wear like a jean because it's so dry. Whereas like if you're on the East Coast, you know, New York, it's always hot because of the humidity. So you're always like dripping sweat. Whereas in LA, it's a lot more comfortable in that regard. So. I'm at night time, so it's nice to have a jacket on you and I mean this I can wear throughout mm -hmm. the entire day and then and hemp, it won't be cold. Natural fabrics like hemp and cotton and things like that do suck up a lot of moisture. When nighttime comes. It's a cute look. I'm not mad about it. Okay, again, we like a color block. So this is my everyday elevated look. And we're in this really dope button up white t-shirt by Nina Ricci. We love, we love a Nina Ricci. We do, we really, really do. And I don't think Nina Ricci gets the love and honor it deserves currently. It's designed by Rushmi Botter and Lisi Herbra, who are the founders of the brand Botter. And honestly, like it's a cute brand. It has a very old sort of history. It was an haute couture house. And I like the fact that the thing that we're seeing from Nina Ricci is like a white button down. Very classic, very crisp, very sort of easy going. I'm into it. My super bright orange pants are off white. Okay, love an orange pant. It reminds me of Valentino. I don't know why. And I just associate everything she does with Valentino. An AF1. Prada bag. A Prada. Off white glasses. Okay. And then my earrings are by Anita Co. I love me some bright colors. I love these pants. Again, look at the pants. Notice the flare. Ada loves a flare. That's what I'm getting from this video. But again, I want to go back to the shirt because in reality, when I look at the fact that it's Nina Ricci, it's that classic button down as we're seeing, but it is definitely different. I like the fact that it has long sleeves that you can cuff up. I like the fact that it has these little white sort of tassels that come down. It's just an interesting take on a classic button so down. Much. I love the cut. I love the design. Mm -hmm. I love the way they sit, the way they look. I think I've definitely become more of a risk taker when it comes to my style. I went through like different stages. So at one point when I was girly, my older sister was more tomboyish and then I became more tomboy or just less girly and then they became girly. Kind of just swapped. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. Don't hate me, but I think I am the most fashionable one in the family. That's a challenge. So this, this right here my everyday baby. Mm -hmm. Another piece that kind of goes with everything and anything, really. The girls love a Prada re-edition nylon bag. They do. Okay. Wait, sorry, I'm obsessed. I bet you that the dress is off-white. I can tell by the cutout because in reality, Virgil, I think, was referencing Tom Ford's era of Gucci. And I feel like the sneakers are also off-white because I can tell by the, the design on them. The bag, Bottega? So this is my day to night dress. Outfit. My dress is off-white. So the sneakers, my bag is Bottega. Three for three girls, we're on it. Proud of myself with that one. So I like to wear this dress during the daytime mm -hmm. because of the cool detailing, which just makes it casual, right? What I really love about this bag is that it's super spacious inside and I've actually got my nighttime stuff in here. My bag and my- Jesus Christ, it's like a Mary Poppins bag. She just pulled the heels out of there. And my accessories. During fashion oh my week, having to go- Okay, sorry. She's like pulling shoes, Valentino bag. So an after party, after a show. Jesus. Throw on some heels with whatever you're wearing and you're good to go. 
And then my bag is Valentino. Oh, wait, I'm dead. Okay, so wait, she pulled the Valentino, little cutie patootie. So I feel like this is called the Roman stud bag. And it's because Valentino sent it to me. I swear to God, didn't ask for it. But it's not that size. It's a cute bag. And my shoe. I mean, like, okay, maybe the green isn't really my vibe, but the bag is interesting, and I do find the idea that all of the rock stud pieces actually utilize the stud as an integral part in the construction of it, so it's not just like a detail. Usually, the rock stud actually holds different aspects of the bags together, which I think is very, very interesting. Shoes are filling pieces. I don't even know. What? Actually oh, filling filling pieces? I feel like I've heard of it. I'm interested by them, the, the clear heel with the yellow stripe. I was actually gifted this bag by Pier Okay, maybe mine wasn't gifted by Pier Paolo, but like- Paolo with Valentino. We actually collaborated together on my British Fashion Award. Love it, Pier Paolo, king, legend. And I just learned how to say his name, actually. Piccioli, so Pier Paolo Piccioli. Dress that I wore we when I won two years ago just saying so that just goes to show you how you know oh oh wait sorry the off-white dress is ribbed and that makes me like it even more i don't know i just love a rib you know what i mean like i like a knit like i do i just think they're i think they're stunning ah, interesting okay good to Close know special our relationship is that i'm able to do something like that with a designer besties okay sad or yay Okay, she's going for Speaking a little LBD. Parties, this is my after party look. I mean, after the you after can never party. go wrong with a little black dress, can you? It's true. I actually got this altered to my liking. I cut this, I've got this cut made. Oh, I was gonna made say. Made it super tight so that it fit perfect, fit perfect, fit it perfect. Me, perfe it's hard to be on camera. <laughs> I'm making up my own words now. So this dress is by a label, a South Australian label, Finders Keepers. Okay, and good to know, I don't shoes, know it. my shoes, which are one of my favorite heels, Renee Calvia, and- I have been hearing about Renee Calvia. Calvia? I like the shoes though. I like a little strap. I like the, the little stud aspect of it. You know, it's not like tacky and gauche. Crystal studding, it's definitely like cute. My super adorable uh -huh. bright pink bag is by Jimmy Choo. Mm -hmm. So I definitely cannot do heels all night long. They come off when we get to dinner, they're off the dinner table when nobody can see. When we're at the party, they are off. But a boot I can do all night long. So I've got these super cute, low, black Jimmy Choo. They give okay, me okay. cowgirl vibes. I didn't realize that Edda was a Jimmy Choo girl, but interesting. And they kind of just bring the dress down just a little bit, but still keeping it very sexy. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. when you're on the runway wearing high heels, you just feel like you're gonna fall. For whatever reason. I've had so many favorite runway moments, it's kind of hard to choose. But one of the most special ones was Chanel Couture Bride. So that, that part, I digress. You can watch the review of that collection if you want, for my opinion. Couture Bride is the greatest honor. I was extremely honored. Oh Paul shit, I forgot when it was with Carl. Chanel Couture Bride three years ago. I think that she was the last one. I think. I'm pretty positive. Which was very special. Was or at least second during black Carl's girl to era. Ever do it. So that was history making moment at the same time as well as it being an honor and extremely special. So I will always hold that special memory and moment to him. I miss him now, speaking of him. Aww. We are gonna add a black blazer, which is okay. another essential. So let's talk about it. The dress, I don't really love. I feel like, yes, I love that it was fitted to her and all that sort of stuff, but the way that I can see the puckering in it makes me sad. I understand like it's just a aspect of wearing clothing and it happens and like, I got it. But at the same time, you know, an LBD gotta be, it has to be perfect. You know what I mean? Like it has to just fit fantastically. And I feel like this dress, when I look at it, doesn't fit as fantastically like it you know it sits on her body but the crinkles and the wrinkles they upset me the blazer aspect the last minute i don't know about that because it looks a little bit brown rather than black bag i don't love the shoes i don't really love yeah i'm not obsessed with this after party look at all okay finale looks okay cash i 
I actually don't. I don't think, I don't know what this is. The asymmetrical bra top is giving me Ajita already, but I want to say in my head this is like Kiko Kostadinov, and I don't think it is, but that's going to make me feel better about it. So this it. is my Sunday outfit. My dress is by Aria. Okay, Aria. That makes sense. Look at the fringe on the under bust line. I got it. I feel like, why have I never seen my this before? My shoes are good old classic Air Force Ones. Mm-hmm. It's just very casual, like, sporty girl and moment. I would pair this with my Copani bag. Okay, not understanding that. Moving to LA, I think I've become more of a dress person. I mean, the weather is nicer for dresses, so. Look, we've been stuck in a house for a year plus. It is time to bring on the bling, the colors, the short dresses. Or Listen, I'm into that, like don't, you know, I, I'm into the whole dressing up and like going out and being happy and joyful and bing, bing, boom, fashion, yada, 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 yada. I just think the dress in general is like, is, there's a lot going on. I think had we not done the one side asymmetry aspect, this would have been a cute, easy way to finish this off, but. Live life. Just a little much. I wanna say, you can't say we didn't live life. <laughs> this summer, we are outside, baby. The streets are calling our names. We've been in that house for a year plus. Okay. So the streets, the bag, and fun is calling. Okay, yeah, so again, like the dress, I don't love. It's just at this moment is throwing me off. I feel like because you have this sort of, you know, encrustment under the bust line, that's a detail, we got it. There's a cutout there as well. And then you have the sort of like short little ombre in red at the bottom, which again, I just think if you take this aspect off, it's like an easy dress. The bag, I'm not really understanding. I'm just not getting where she plays into this moment. I feel like maybe a white bag would have made a little bit more sense here, you know what I mean? And the Air Force Ones, I get it, I understand it. I'm not mad about it, I think it's cute. I like an Air Force One, I think it makes sense. So yeah, if we just changed the bag and the literal construction of the dress, we would have been fine but she's a little bit discombobulated on a Sunday, which is fine. Cause you know what, if you go thank out, you guys so much for watching. I get it. I well, you thank you, Etta. That. that was lovely. You didn't explain the Crocs though, while we're on the topic. I want a Croc explanation, please and thank you. So let's just do a quick dissemination about that experience. Honestly, I thought it was cute. It wasn't revolutionary, but again, I don't think I was really expecting this like revolutionary aspect. I just think model wise, it's like casual and easy. It's sort of comfortable. It's the same thing as Kaya Gerber to me. No probs, no, not mad about it. I think it's interesting to see how models actually dress in their everyday life and not just on the runway. So my favorite look, ugh, you know what? I gotta give it to that first one. I just thought it was such a real stunning use of like color. I, just, I really truly think it's like lovely. It's so easy. It looks like something that I would see on a Valentino Haute Couture runway. Obviously it would be in like a sort of much grander silhouettes and all that sort of stuff, but the color combination, I guess Pure Paolo has rubbed off and I love to see that. Worst outfit, I'm gonna give it to that little black dress with the boot and the blazer and the bag. It just, it was discombobulated all over the place. The dress didn't really look like it fit either, which was sad. She brought it to somebody to get it to fit. She doesn't fit. So she was a disappointment, but overall, I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was kind of enjoyable. I think it's interesting again to see how models dress in their own personal lives. So please let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I want to say again, a huge shout out to Scentbird. Again, use that code HOTLAMODE or click the link in the description box below. I will see you guys in the next one and TTYL.